and there you go you've got your wavy flames on your word fire and we don't want our word to be white so we'll just go to our fire word that we turned off earlier and turn it back on and it will be black for us alright that looks amazing already however I would like the fire to be in here as well and to do that you make a new layer with the create a new layer button and then swap to your mask tool by the, with the letter M well technically it's the marquee tool but I don't care and then zoom in a little bit you guys will probably do that with the zoom tool again with the letter Z and then again hold the space button and you can click and drag to reposition it and then you want to make a box that overlaps the bottom of the word fire just a little bit and then fill it in with your white background color using control backspace and then control D to deselect and when you're done making your box go down to the create a new layer button and control click it and that will make a new layer below our white box layer and fill that up with alt backspace and that will fill it with black seeing as that should still be your foreground color and have those two layers selected and merge them together with control E and we're gonna do the same thing we did before we're gonna go to image image rotation 90 degrees clockwise filter stylize wind give the wind method a couple of clicks make sure it's from the left hit OK control F to duplicate the effect and control F again to make it longer image rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise filter blur Gaussian blur 1.0 pixels for the radius hit OK control U to bring up the hue and saturation colorize bring up the saturation all of the way make the hue 38 to make it orange sorry if I'm going through this fast but you know should be somewhat straightforward by now duplicate it by dragging it onto the create a new layer button control U again colorize bringing up the saturation to 100 OK change the blend mode of that red layer to color dodge change the opacity to 75 percent hit enter and then select these two layers and hit control E to merge them together and then go to filter liquify and again zoom in with your zoom tool you can swap to that with the letter Z go to our warp tool and make your fire nice and wavy I realize I did go through that pretty fast but seeing as this is a video tutorial it should be easy for you to hit rewind and just watch it over as many times as you need I'm sure that's hard for some people but get over it that sounded just a little mean but whatever alright now that I'm done making my fire look nice and wavy I can hit OK and if you go to your fire that you just created and hold the alt button and put it in between the fire and our fire text you can click it and it will mask it so that it stays within the word fire and that should finish it up it looks absolutely amazing as it is and you're finished. Thanks for watching this video. Go to www.chichicheka.com to download this video if you need to. And if you have any questions, then post a comment on YouTube or send me a message at brandon at Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials. See you next time.